Uh, my name is Susum Goto uh, from uh, Database Center for Life Science, DBCLS. And I uh, recently uh, moved to uh, DBCLS from Kyoto University. So uh, first, I'd, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank the uh, Arita-san and the other organizers for inviting me to this symposium. And the, uh, I have been involved in the KEG project for many years, so I was asked to talk about the KEG. So uh, although I am now in the uh, DBCLS, but uh, today's, uh, uh, most of the today's talk is uh, based on the KEG project. So uh, today I would like to talk about uh, KEG. This is a uh, database, but uh, it's also the sort of the integrated database for various types of the data. And uh, recently we developed some tools using the CAG data for annotating the function. So I would like to talk about the uh, tools maple, called Maple uh, briefly. And then uh, I will uh, discuss about the uh, linked data in the DBCLS and uh, uh, as a uh, integrated database. So, uh, First, the, the KEG, maybe many of you know, uh, is a Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes, and the, it a, has a 20, about 20 years of development history from uh, 1995. And uh, currently, it contains uh, uh, 14 main, main databases listed here, uh, classified in the four categories into the system, systematic, systemic information uh, genomic and uh, chemical compound, chemical information and uh, health information. And the currently, so I officially moved, uh, re left the uh, KEG project uh, recently. So uh, the main uh, developer of the KEG project is still uh, Professor Kanehisa, and the currently about 20 curators and notators uh, working on developing the CAG. And the, uh, this database is uh, com developed by combining the manual data creation and the automatic annotation. I will talk about this a bit later. And the, these 14 main databases consist of the, uh, these four categories. And the 20, about 20 curators are uh, uh, working on the each category is basically, but uh, they are collaborating with each other, of course. And the data types are, are listed here, like a pathway database for the diagrams and the pictures, and the genomic information for the nucleotide and the amino acid sequences, and also the text information. And also has a SSDB for the sequence similarity data for all to all. Uh, similarity search results. And the chemical compound and the reactions has a, a chemical structure in the 2D uh, mole files, and the, of course, the text annotation. And also the uh, health information includes the disease and drug information, so the drug is represented as a, also the structural information too. And the main uh, source of the information of data is uh, from the literature. And uh, we also developed some tools for using this by, uh, uh, to utilize this database. So I will talk about this a bit later. And he, this pathway information is basically for the literature-based uh, collection, but it's also the Include the computation for the species specific pathway. So, for the reference pathway, uh, I, we call the literature based pathway is a reference pathway, and the number of the pathway, current pathway, is uh, here. And also, the uh, automatically annotated uh, species specific pathways is uh, basically the reference pathways times the number of the species in the cake. So uh, I'd like to talk about the, uh, how these uh, manual annotation pathways is created in CAG. 
Uh, it's, uh, we use, uh, we developed uh, some tools, uh, uh, Java application tools called the keg sketch, keg hire, keg uh, draw uh, for inputting uh, pathway information and uh, hierarchical classification information and the uh, chemical compound structure information. And the, this data format is a uh, keg specific uh, application, but uh, we also uh, we also output the XML file or more file for the chemical structure data. And uh, uh, for the text information, we use we developed an annotation tool, web-based annotation tool, uh, and the underlying database is the Oracle database. So for keg sketch, basically uh, annotator draws the pathway diagram like this by manual, and then uh, they annotate the each uh, reaction or uh, enzyme box here by assigning uh, uh, new reactions or enzymes. So for the uh, reactions, uh, they also input the chemical structure of the compound and the uh, what kind of reactions uh, like this and also the definition and uh, uh, the related uh, pathway information. And so we use the uh, keg draw to draw like this uh, uh, compound. And then we also uh, annotate the author of information into this uh, box. So this, this box has uh, both the has the information both of uh, chemical reactions, enzymatic reactions, and uh, uh, orthog information. And the in this case, uh, this uh, literature information comes from the uh, Arabidopsis uh, experiment. So we manually annotate the uh, uh, this Arabidopsis genes to this uh, orthrog, and the, uh, this is used as a reference for the other species' uh, genes. So this part is a computationally uh, done by the sequence similarity search. And once we annotate, we uh, create the pathway information, including the reaction and the orthrog, we uh, use the functional annotation of, from, by using the uh, SSDB sequence similarity database, which is a collection of the uh, all to all sequence similarities in the cake genes database. So, uh, and the, uh, for annotation, we use a Koala annotation system, which is an in-house annotation system based on the uh, bidirectional best hit information or some heuristics like uh, alignment length or the score gap between the top and the second KO assignment. And once we annotate the genes for the orthorog, we uh, map this information to the pathway. So uh, then we have a genes information uh, with the sequence and the KO, KO orthology annotation here. And uh, this KO orthology annotation information can be used to map the pathway database. So this is a brief overview of the, how the KEG pathways or KEG other genes databases are cre created, uh, mainly for the pathway information. And the, this is a very uh, traditional, I mean, uh, we didn't change much for the system, but currently, uh, recently we add the uh, other type of the keg genes database because we only use the uh, keg uh, genes for the completely sequenced uh, genomes. So, if the uh, original data 
like uh, like this is from the uh, species without uh, completely sequenced genomes, we couldn't annotate the uh, genes in that pathway. So we started to create the uh, new database, new type of the genes uh, called addendum. It's, uh, it is a, a genes data from not from the completely genome, but uh, from the uh, sequence database for new author annotation like this. So in this case, we have a, a enzyme classification, and the the reference is available here. I'm sorry, this is too small, but the uh, species uh, described in this literature is not completely sequenced yet. So we do not have a, a genes in the CAG genes database so far, but we add uh, this uh, specific genes as a collection of the uh, sequence data in this uh, CAG genes database as a uh, addendum uh, class. So by using this, we can now annotate the more pathway information to the uh, sequence data. So in this case, we have a, once we have this sequence in the genes database and the corresponding between, correspondence between the genes and the keg ontology, we can use this information to annotate to other similar sequences in the keg genes, original keg genes database. Okay. And another a recent update, recent development is uh, an annotation tool for the uh, researchers, like a blast koala, ghost koala. So the koala is an uh, in-house annotation system which uses uh, uh, sequence similarities based on the uh, S-search program. So uh, the computation is very slow. So we use the BLAST and the GhostX for the uh, public uh, annotation system for much faster uh, functional annotation. And the, we also use the reduced database. So currently, the CAG database has uh, over 4,000 species and they over uh, seven or five, uh, eight million, no, uh, 10, 000, uh, 10, 10 million sequences. So uh, we select the representative species from uh, organism level or species level or genus level and family level. And we uh, create the representative database for those species. And if uh, the other species in that group uh, do not have a homology sequence, to the representative species, uh, we add that information too. So the current uh, number of the sequences here is uh, for the eukaryotes and the prokaryotes is like this. And uh, the result of the blast koala and ghost koala is a list of the input sequence and the list of the correspondence the input sequence ID and the keg uh, ortholog ID. So uh, researchers can use the keg mapper for uh, creating the pathway information for their own sequences. And this keg tool keg, uh, can be used for other various tools and uh, uh, extended database. So uh, another example is a uh, keg metagenomes. So by using the ghost koala, the much faster uh, annotation system, we can annotate the, uh, many uh, metagenomic sequences. So the, currently, we in, in, uh, implemented the environmental data set from the, from mainly from the ocean samples and the uh, human microbiome samples like this. To we annotate all the uh, amino acid sequences 
from these samples and create the database for each sample. And you can see the environmental uh, parameters and the distribution of the uh, functions and uh, species. And we can also see the uh, pathways and uh, gene annotation uh, too. And another uh, related tool is uh, uh, author cluster for uh, keg genes. So the keg orthologs is a manually annotated uh, database. So it doesn't include uh, uh, any orthologs without uh, known functions. So uh, we uh, we computed uh, all the uh, also clusters by using the PQSI uh, clustering algorithm to uh, create the uh, also database. And currently, we have a uh, 4,000 species, and the uh, this number of the also clusters. So this is a uh, totally automatic and. Uh, uh, we update this information uh, every two or three months. By using this uh, type of the ortholog information, uh, we can uh, also uh, compute some functional prediction, but I will skip this. And uh, uh, I would like to talk about the uh, uh, Maple system a bit uh, in detail today, because uh, this is uh, uh, another uh, development for functional annotation of the uh, new development of the functional annotation of the metagenomes and the genomes. And keg mapper and uh, functional annotation, uh, keg mapper after the functional annotation is a very good tool to view the uh, global view or uh, general view of the pathway maps, but uh, it is still uh, a bit difficult to interpret uh, the result, whether the genome has a dysfunction or not. So uh, we would like to uh, make this easier. And uh, also the detailed result about the sequence similarity search and the functional annotation or uh, pathway mapping, or module mapping, is necessary. Uh, by the way, so we use the uh, module database, uh, which is a small part of the uh, more uh, compact defined uh, functional set of the pathway for the maple annotation. And the, we also want to uh, make some comparative analysis for the several um, uh, annotations or metagenomes. And uh, this is an overview of the Maple system. So uh, we uh, provide a web interface for inputting the uh, sequence data. So you can input the, uh, so currently we, you can input the one million sequences uh, in this system, but the, you can uh, merge uh, the, inf the result of the several searches, so uh, you can uh, input some many more uh, sequences, uh, theoretically. And the functional annotation for these sequences can be done by the, the currently the a CAS system, another uh, functional annotation system, so you can get the list of the gene ID and the ortholog ID and also the species uh, information. And uh, then you can get the uh, module search. So this is a, a module uh, with uh, one, two, three, four four reaction steps. So we define this module by extracting the uh, tightly related functional set 
from the keg pathway diagram and uh, define uh, some Boolean uh, equation. Like uh, you, you need uh, this enzyme and this uh, this also look, this also look, this also look, this also look for completing the, this reaction steps. But uh, uh, two orthologs are defined for this, uh, this enzyme step, this reaction step. So uh, you need uh, either of these orthologs to complete this reaction step. So this, this kind of uh, definition can be uh, done by, uh, can be computed by computationally uh, to check the, whether this is, exists or not. So uh, we, we developed a system to calculate the, whether this module is uh, complete or not by using the uh, percentage module completion rate of this reactions, uh, reaction sets. So this is a module completion ratio. And uh, we also uh, calculate the abundance by using the, uh, how much is uh, mapped to this each KO, KO slope, and the Q values for uh, defining a, a statistical significance of the module annotation. And the keg module annotation is uh, like this. So in this case, the, there is a reaction, four step reactions, and each step consists of the several chaos. And this is a com complex, and this is also another complex for this reaction. And uh, uh, you need to have the, all the component of this com complex to, to complete this reaction. So uh, this cannot be uh, work because this, we, do not, we do not have this uh, orthologue, uh, but the, we have this complex, so we can have this reaction step. And the, by calculating the uh, uh, abundance of this each uh, signed map uh, leads to the each orthologue, uh, we can calculate the abundance of the modules like this. And the, uh, we also, I will skip this, but the, we also uh, defined some statistical significance of the keg module annotation, uh, module uh, ratio. Uh, basically, uh, using uh, uh, how, how much uh, the module is uh, completed, or how abundant the read are mapped, or uh, how specific these modules are defined. And some keg modules are defined uh, duplicated. So uh, in this case, in this specific example, we have uh, two definitions of the keg module here and uh, here with overlap. So in this case, the, if you have uh, this, uh, this host log, but uh, this may be used to the other modules too. So uh, we do not know how uh, significant uh, this, uh, this annotation is uh, specific to this keg module. And uh, basically, the Q value and the uh, uh, module completion ratio is negatively correlated in this figure. So the, if you, you have a 100% module completion ratio, uh, Q value is very small. And uh, if the module completion ratio is not so high, and Q value is close to the one. But some modules have a, a high module completion ratio, but uh, uh, relatively high Q value. So in this case, this module seems uh, means uh, not so specific to the uh, this module. And another uh, improvement is uh, uh, taxonomic annotation by the ribosomal proteins modules. So we define the ribosomal protein modules, uh, bacterial and uh, archaea, and we use this information for the uh, taxonomic annotation uh, rather than using uh, 
uh, 16S ribosomal RNA sequences. Because the several, some bacteria has a large copy of the 16S ribosomal RNA, but uh, usually uh, prokaryotes do not have a large copy of the ribosome uh, genes. So we use this as a control for the uh, taxonomic uh, annotation, like this. So this is a brief summary of the maple system. And you can see the uh, module completion ratio like this. And uh, you can list the module completion ratio and other Q values and so on. And for each module, you can see the how uh, abundance are mapped. And the also can see the species uh, species delineation of the breakdown, species breakdown of these modules. And so this is a summary of the KEG database. And the, we have a four category of the database. And the, um, basically the pathway and the medical information is uh, manually curated. And the, using the genomic information and the chemical information, you can uh, create the pathway information using the, some tools like uh, keg mappers and uh, annotation tools and some, map, uh, and some other tools. And so keg itself consists of the uh, various types of the database. So, and the links uh, databases are linked to each other. So this is a kind of a integrated database. But uh, there are many other databases in the world. So uh, we also created the link DB, which creates a link between the other database to the keg information, so that uh, you can map the uh, information of the other databases to the CAG pathway or CAG, uh, CAG information. And this is a very uh, close uh, uh, concept of the uh, development in the DBCRS. And the, the DBCRS are currently uh, developing a techn technologies and the contents for the uh, semantic web technologies. And the, for the contents, uh, we created the literature information uh, for some uh, reviews. And uh, also, we integrate omics information and uh, link information for the uh, database integration. And the, based on the semantic web technologies, we uh, create, we uh, integrated database and uh, develop some applications to access this database. And in, in this case, we use the RDF uh, uh, formulation of the database. And I will skip this. And uh, this is still in development, but uh, uh, Many databases in, developed in Japan are already uh, converted in the, integrated in the RDF uh, type of database. And you can see the database right here, from here. And the, these links, uh, uh, the links between, there are, indicate that there are links between the databases. So this is the last slide. And the, uh, I talked about the CAG. Uh, which is an integrated database of uh, uh, pathways and genomes and uh, other chemical uh, reactions. So, because the CAG uses a controlled vocabulary uh, within the database, and uh, uh, ontology, which is a hierarchical classification of the genes, pathways, and uh, species, so it's easy to, to traverse uh, the database and uh, easy to uh, uh, interpret the database. 
And the, it also makes the database is uh, useful for creating a tools uh, for integrating this genomic and uh, pathway information. And the link to open data is also the uh, effort to integrate the, all the database on the web, and not only for the CAG, but so, uh, but the, each database developed uh, by their own uh, institute, so uh, usually it exploits uh, their own ID or ontology. Uh, ontology. So, so DBCLS and the NBDC uh, created the guideline for the RDF uh, for the data, and also is developing an edge store for the ID conversion. So uh, we are now uh, have a lot of data in the integrated uh, format. So uh, probably many people uh, can uh, use this information for the new application. So uh, application proposal is uh, very welcome. And the, uh, currently we have uh, about uh, 18, uh, 80 database uh, on the web. Uh, for integrating the, using the RDF technology, semantic web technologies. Okay, uh, so this is a, a acknowledgement. So uh, Keg and uh, Maple and the uh, uh, DBCLS member with uh, NBDC, uh, Professor Toshi Satagagi. So the, this is a member of the DBCLS. Thank you for your attention.